I first met Billy in October of 2014 when he was, when he was admitted to the inpatient service here at Children's Mercy. At that point in time, he was uh, remarkably weak. He had weakness in his left arm and both of his legs and couldn't get up to a seated position, couldn't stand independently. So as you can see, he's made a remarkable recovery. He's now walking independently with the use of a single prone cane and uh, much, much better than he had been short four months ago. In the late summer and early fall of this year, large outbreak of EVD-68 occurred in this country. This virus produced unusually severe respiratory symptoms and many children were admitted to our hospital where we first identified this, when the first hospital in the country and across the United States. In the fall, we started noticing cases of a neurologic syndrome that was reminiscent of polio with a very distinctive MRI finding and the CDC started tracking such cases. At this point, uh, they've tracked over 100 of them. The initial thought was EBD-68 must surely have something to do with this because the cases started in the context of an outbreak. And yet we couldn't find EBD-68 in spinal fluid, in stool, in anything but the nose in children who had this neurologic problem. And in fact, in many cases, they had a virus that wasn't EBD-68. So at this point, uh, we know that these cases have continued, and the question is, why? Is EVD-68 the culprit? Not that we can uh, confirm at this point. Could it be due to an other virus? It's possible it could be uh, triggered by many different things. In fact, though, it remains a medical mystery, and to this point, we don't know for certain what it's caused by.